we essentially clip off 80 to 90 percent of what you see here. Hola amigos, welcome back to Sonic's Place. My name is Emma and today we're heading over to our neighbor's house. She has a quarter acre vineyard and today she's going to teach me how to prune grapes. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> this should be fun. This row is a good example of Oh, them. cool, yeah, I see it. So, and we're actually cutting them, cutting them a little late. <laughs> we're doing it. Do what you so, can when you can. Yeah. <laughs> and why'd, why'd you guys end up getting grapes? We actually, kind of as a college fund, is what our original plan was, and we just loved to work outside. They were heavy on the planting side. We had to tend to them a lot the first year and water and everything. But after that, it's just pruning in the spring. You can do it in the fall too, but we do it in the spring and harvest in the fall. So very low maintenance yeah. as far as that's concerned. They sell most of it on Craigslist essentially. And there's yeah. a family from Moldova that come up. They grew up on their grandparents' grape farm. They knew there were grapes around here. They wanted that culture around them and they come up as a family. That's and awesome. they prune all together and stuff like that and serve it at grape juice at their, they don't even make wine out of it, I don't think. It's kind of fun to yeah, be part of other people's yeah. stories then with that. What kind of grapes are they? These are Nortons okay. and they're a Missouri native um, or Missouri variety that would grow well here. So they're hardy, like bug hardy and disease hardy and everything too. So that's yeah. awesome. So let me see if I can get these names right. So we have the trunk. And then we have the cordons, these heavy, the heavy, heavy wooded ones. They essentially clip off 80 to 90 percent of what you see here yeah. um, every year. If you just let it go without trip pruning at all, um, then it either overproduces or underproduces. And if it overproduces, it's not like it's going to break the vines or anything like that. They actually just, um, the grapes are less, have a lower brick score, so it can't be made for wine. can't make wine with it. There's not as sweet. The color is not as good. After harvesting it, the there's not enough. Um, carbohydrates it said in the vines to harden all of the vines afterwards not as vigorous on it last year so I'm doing a little catch up from last year now that I have yeah more strength about this so we basically welcome um, one shoot off of each little section maybe six inches apart with about two buds remaining on it we can tell which buds or which shoots are alive because of the buds that are on here. This one's partially dead. You may make the same call multiple years in a row and you change your mind. Okay. So this one's kind of broken, so I'm just gonna cut that one off all together and then I'm gonna keep two, I'm gonna keep two to five, they said, depending on the length of them. You can tell they're alive. Yeah. <laughs> they're I green. That, Some yeah. will be brown or gray we'll on the see. inside, but yeah. um, it's kind of like their blood <laughs> essentially dripping from that. down for this kind of trellis system. There are different kind of trellis systems for different kinds of grapes. So I want to backtrack on this one a little bit and not have it go too much. So I don't know if you can cut through that oh, right yeah. there. That was a really cool experience. Got to learn a little bit more about grapevines, um, how to prune grapevines, um, and learn a little bit about the story behind why our neighbor has those grapes. It also gave me a really good opportunity to just hang out with her a little bit and uh, 
you know, spend some one-on-one -on -one mommy time. And so that was really cool. It was interesting because as we were pruning, it felt very therapeutic. And she touched on that and how uh, she uses that time to just kind of process her day, her day. And I thought that was just really cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. My name is Emma from Sonny's Place, encouraging you to grow your best life. Adios. Heidi. Hi, baby girl.